Good morning everyone and welcome back to Morning Markets on Wednesday the 26th of April. Today we're going to give you an update on the US earnings seasons, particularly why it appears to be impacting equity markets right now, what it could potentially mean for growth going forward. So as you can see on screen, equities performed poorly yesterday, mainly led by the US, and this is despite what we're seeing as a strong earnings updates for Q1 from the majority of large cap US corporates. We had earnings yesterday from Microsoft, Pepsi, McDonald's and Alphabet. Very strong earnings, market beats taken positively. However, there is an issue which continues to dominate and this relates back to Silicon Valley Bank at the start of March, where you recall that bank was effectively declared insolvent and had a market solution led by the Federal Reserve Insurance Corporation to bail in that bank. We're now dealing with an issue from First Republic, which is very similar. That is, the bank has mismanaged its assets versus its liabilities. And whilst it's still solvent, it saw a huge drop in deposits through Q1. It began the year with around 170 billion of deposits. They actually fell by 72 billion through Q1. And in fact, had it not been for some other deposit initiatives from the larger banks, their deposits would have fallen by over 100 billion, so by more than 50% in a single quarter. So this is what surprised markets yesterday. And in fact, the share price of First Republic Bank fell 50% yesterday, such that it's now down over 90% from the start of the year. Now, this is a particular issue, again, for officials to try and resolve. Because whilst the bank is relatively small, it has only $17 billion worth of equity, it has around 30 billion of deposits from the larger banks in the US who tried to show some confidence in March by placing deposits with First Republic as an act of confidence. However, that has failed to stabilise deposits and there's clearly going to have to be a wider solution led by the market. Again, it's unlikely that taxpayers in the US will have to be on the hook for anything, but we know that the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, along with uh, government officials will likely have to act quick to help resolve the situation. But it is localised, so despite the 50% fall in share price from First Republic yesterday, wider US banks, the KRW index was down only 4%. And in fact, PacWest, Pacific West, their stock price rallied 16% yesterday because with their earnings update, they showed that deposits were actually up $1.8 billion. So the issue with the equity market right now is very uh, localised to US regional banks. It's likely going to have less of an impact than it did in March, and it's likely to be resolved fairly quickly by officials using the same blueprint as they used for SVP. So please join us tomorrow where we'll update you again further on what is, on the whole, a very strong earnings season for the US. Thank you.